Hello and guten Tag, fellow makers and 3D print enthusiasts. Today I will share a fascinating feature of Cura 4.5 with you that allows us to sli slice single STL files for multiple color prints. My name is Jürgen Wahlmann and this is a word about 3D printing. So far any source I came across prepared STL models for multiple extruder printing by using mesh mixer or similar software to split up the model into separate STLs. These STLs can then be assigned to different extruders for multicolor or multi-material printing. Careful aligning the different parts is key for successful prints and can be quite delicate. Most common slicers like Simplify 3D, Prusa Slicer and Cura are capable of multiple extruders and there are plenty of good tutorials out there, so we are not going to cover this today. I will put some links in the description in case you are interested in those topics. With Cura, however, this might not be necessary and in this video I will show you why and how. I already started Cura and imported our test object for today, a bicycle wheel. I am using a triple extruder single nozzle printer, Gitex A20T. Alas, this tutorial is as useful for dual extrusion, both single and dual nozzle. I set up my extruders with black, yellow and silver. We will use black and silver on this one. We could just print the wheel in single color, like black, but many bicycle wheels have silver spokes and rims and we want our print to re resemble this. First things first, let's rotate it to lay flat on the bed and position it 0, 0. Now what? How we are supposed to assign two extruders to one STL object? And here's the thing, we aren't. Instead, let Im let's import a second object into our project that will do the trick. I call it the PUC. It's tiny, so we need to bring it up to size. 83 mm in diameter and 10 mm in height is exactly what we need here. Now we align it to our wheel at 0, 0. Right now we have a kind of awkward disc wheel like for indoor racing, but bear with me. As here comes the fun part. We now instruct Cura to paint everything within our PUC with a different color while itself will not be printed at all. By selecting the PUC and clicking on Per Model Settings in the toolbar, we define it as of type Modify Settings for Overlaps. Then we use Select Settings to add one setting to be set for this model. We use infill density and keep the value just like the profile setting because it is not our goal to fiddle with the infill for now. But without at least one setting active, the poke will have no effect on our wheel, at least according to my tests. Very important detail here, uncheck infill only. As the final step to add a second color to our wheel, we select the PUC and change the extruder to silver, in my case extruder 3. Now we slice our wheel. Hang on. Here we go. Change our view to preview and material color. And there you have it a single S2L dual color bicycle wheel ready to print. So what does it look like printed? Let's have a look. I printed two of them because uh, bicycle and here's my prime tower to prime the nozzle for color changes. And we have a second look, second perspective on here and it comes out very clean. 
By using this feature, you should be able to print almost every single STL with multiple colors. By carefully choosing and aligning the geometries for other extruders, most of the time support blockers will do the trick, though in Cura they are limited to rectangular volumes. To illustrate this, let me quickly, quickly show you another Cura project, a bicycle suspension fork plus handles. Here you see the suspension tubes, the handles and the grips wrapped in support blockers, which have the same exact features as our puck, bear the color. Tubes and handles are silver, grips black. The rest of the model is yellow. Again, let's have a look at the preview. So as you see, everything as planned. And here's how it looks like printed. If you want to print your own working mountain bike fully, I leave the link in the description. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with the site hosting this model. So far, I only use Cura to prepare my prints, so I'm not aware of any other slicers out there bringing the same functionality to the table. If so, please comment below. Time to wrap this up. In this video we learned how to prepare a single STL for multicolor or material printing Cura without splitting it up or being restricted to layer changes. This makes, at least for me, multicolor printing a lot more accessible, more streamlined and opens up a whole new batch of 3D models for color printing. With this being said, I'm really looking forward to see what you guys come up with using this technique. I wish you well, keep your bets leveled and your settings dialed in.